it's a sunny day in autumn and I walk into a fashion shop downtown Question City. Before I get a chance to look around, even to see what shop I've arrived in, an eager salesperson is rushing up to me saying, can I help you? Can he help me? I realize that there are only two possible answers, yes or no. I decide to be friendly and firm. No, you can't help me. The salesperson turns red. This was not the response he had expected. He timidly goes and hides behind a rack of ties. As a customer, you're left to feel a bit foolish. Did you say something offensive? Were you rude? My name is Fies van Laag. I'm a commercial trainer and commercial consultant. And I'm urgently giving you this advice. If you are a salesperson, if you deal with customers, if you are involved with sales in any way, always ask open questions. So, what is an open question? Well, to put it simply, an open question always starts with who, what, where, when, why or how. And it's a question that can't be answered with yes or no. The question, how can I help you, is an example of an open question. If you formulate this question as follows, can I help you, that would make it a closed question. In that case, the only response could be yes or no. Why is it so important to ask open questions? Well, because then you can force the other person to think. During a networking event, you could ask a celebrated business owner a closed question. Is business going well? But it would be much better to approach him with an open question. What is it that makes you so successful? This will quickly create a conversation with some substance and will send a message to the other person that you are interested in what he has to say. When should you ask open questions and when shouldn't you? Let me start with when you should. And my answer is short and to the point. As often as possible. Unless you are presenting someone with a questionnaire or a multiple choice list. How are you doing is always better than is everything well? And with which three people in my network would you like to get in touch? Is preferably over are you looking for a way into my network? The timing of your questions is important. Only ask one question at a time and try to avoid the so-called stacking question. If during your sales call you ask your potential customer what does your energy consumption look like and how much energy do you think you could save with my product? He will answer the last question, even though the first one is generally the most important one. Finally, how do you ask an open question? This is an important question, especially if it concerns the so-called why question. Intonation can make all the difference from this question. Why not? sounds very different from why not? Why would you apply this theory to your sales call? That's very simple. Advisory and solution sales are things of the past. Today, challenger sales determine the tone of the sales call. With open questions, you challenge your customer. Being asked open questions makes a customer sit up and pay attention. By asking open questions, you change the mindset of a customer. And by asking open questions, you can prevent a situation where you, as a salesperson, need to go and hide behind a tie rack. How are you going to apply the open questions issue to your sales call? I wish you much openness.